Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I've got a quick video today. I've had a couple issues with the cooling system on the Civic. The fan doesn't seem to be kicking on and I decided to buy another fan switch. Also, I have some issues with the water temperature sensor reading for the ECU itself, the digital output, not the analog one for the dash. So I've gone ahead and bought a couple new sensors. So for the water temp sensor for the ECU, I just got this Trident one and I bought that through Super Cheap Auto. I think it was about 50 something dollars and it came in a couple days. Uh, just make sure you get the right one for your car. This is what the plug looks like for this one. And it has O-ring on there. And then for the actual fan switch, I found that Mishimoto does a lower temperature switch. So this one pretty much fits every Civic. Um, I guess they're all the same. Spoon also made one that I saw, I think either JDM Yard or Elusive Racing had for sale, but Mishimoto had 40% off. I think the sale is still going now, um, but I got this for $40. So what this does is the original fan switch, the temperature that it kicks the fan on is 95, 98 degrees and this one is an 80 degree switch so this means that it's going to switch your fan on earlier and it says here um, so hopefully it gives you a bit more headroom with your temperature if you're pushing it hard you're not sitting at that 95 98 degrees all the time so both sensors look very similar this is a b16a2 and this sensor at the front here i've just got unplugged is the water temperature sensor for the ECU. And at the back here, we've got another sensor that I've got unplugged already. This one here, just on the thermostat housing. This one is for your fan switch. So removing these sensors, hopefully we don't need to re-bleed the engine. What I'm gonna do is keep the radiator cap on. So it sort of keeps the vacuum in the system and hopefully it doesn't siphon out so you're just going to need a 19 mil deep socket like this and the whole sensor should be able to fit inside like that this one's just three quarter but you could use half inch as well don't tighten it too hard because it is aluminium the head I'm just going to remove this earth strap here just because it's um, in the way of getting to the fitting. So now with the Honda on, you can see my engine coolant temperature now is reading correctly. 22.5, pretty much the same as the intake air temp. With that coolant temperature sensor for the ECU, it's important that that's working because that affects your idle at cold start. So the ECU has some settings that uh, raises the RPM or affects the ignition timing or fueling. Uh, when the car first starts so if there's no reading on there then the car's pretty much gonna idle and run like crap until it warms up so i definitely highly recommend changing that if you've got a problem with your sensor all right that wraps up the video fortunately i can't start the car at the moment i'm just finishing up some other stuff with the injectors from last time so i've got that all unwired at the moment um, but when i did put the sensors in you saw that the coolant leaked out so what I've done is I'm no, I know I'm not gonna drive the car in next week or two. So I've just taken the radiator cap off. And um, if you leave it over time, it might self bleed itself. Um, so it'll do a bit of the hard work for you. Overall, I think for the $40 I paid for the Mishimoto uh, temp switch, I, I think it's well worth it. it just uh, helps the longevity of your cooling system and your engine as well. And maybe with that hot water passing through the intake manifold, it might help a bit with the intake air temps as well. Um, if you have any questions, put them down below. 
If not, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next video. Cheers.